But um, moving past that, let's talk a bit about uh, video games. Yes. So, Minecraft. Minecraft is a game. True. Minecraft is a game that has a lot of fucking crazy people playing it. Uh, a lot of crazy people who are really, really insane developers. Um, so there's already been, you know, the, uh, the, what is that? The, the Turtles. Is it, is the mod called Turtles? Um, it was a programming mod where you program these, uh, turtle robot. I think it was just called Turtles. Uh, turtle, uh, mod. Yeah, yeah, Minecraft Turtles. Uh, basically you program the little robots in, uh, I believe it was, I want to say Lua. I want to say Lua is, uh, is what it is. Um, I could be mistaken. Yeah, yeah, it's, okay, it's written in Lua. Now, that's already inc absolutely fucking insane. Now, it can get crazier than that. So that came from the Computer Craft mod. Uh, this is another mod called Open Computers 2, and somehow it only has 100 downloads. Like, I have no idea how no one knows about this yet. Um... But Open Computers 2 is a spiritual successor to Open Computers. This was an early Minecraft mod, uh, which was also, you know, pretty crazy. But like, you know, it's still, it actually is pretty, fu it is pretty fucking crazy. Um, it is pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, but this one is, is kind of crazier. So... It carries some of the core ideas with it, such as configurability and sandboxing. However, there are also many changes, such as the mod using emulated real-world hardware. The core of computers uh, in this mod is an emulated RISC-V architecture. This allows running Linux and using it much like you'd normally use, uh, you'd much like you'd use it normally. For example, networking uses an emulated network card and regular Ethernet frames so different Linux computers can communicate just as you'd expect. While the mod has been in development for some time now, it should still be considered to be an early development. There may still be severe bugs that went undiscovered. The mod is also very light on features at this point, at least when compared to open computers. As such, please report any issues you encounter while using the mod and stay tuned for content in the future. So, the mod provides stationary computers and mobile robots. While computers can connect to other in-world devices via bus cables and extension cards, robots can move through the world and interact with it via modules. Uh, computers can communicate with each other using network, ca uh, network cards and cables. To get started with the mod, it is recommended to craft the computerist handbook, an in-game manual with information on all the blocks, how to build your first computer, and so on. Um, by default... Operating system used by the mod is Linux. It comes with a list of well-known utilities such as text editors, Vi and Nano. For those curious, build root is used to create the kernel and root file system. Um, to enable easy scripting, Lua is also included because, of course it is, because all, all Minecraft programming is Lua at this point. Uh, many of the Minecraft-specific devices, such as inventories and redstone interface block and general mod interoperability, use a high-level API that is intended to be used through Lua. Minecraft modding. Like, okay. When I got into Minecraft, right? I got into Minecraft in beta... I want to say 1.3. I got into Minecraft in the bed update. Uh, Minecraft bed. Uh... My nose is itchy. That's fun. Uh, the beds... When did beds come out? Uh, do, 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 do. It should have a list on the wiki somewhere. Uh, 1.3. Yes, 1.3. So I started playing in 1.3. Now, Minecraft mods back in 1.3, because the mod kit wasn't there and you didn't have all of this amazing tooling that exists nowadays, were... Nothing, nothing in comparison to what we see nowadays. Like the fact that you can emulate a Risk Five architecture inside of Minecraft, run a full Linux system in it, is just that's just insane. <laughs> like this, 
this is something that I kind of want to just do a video on just for the memes. Um, also, it's licensed under MIT, so that's also really cool. Uh, I love that. I, I love that this is actually licensed under MIT. Um, but... <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Like, this... It's just cool. It's just really, really cool. Uh, it doesn't say... Uh, how... Uh, what, what the distro is based on, if it is a... If it is a custom, like, LFS setup, or if it's based on, like, Debian or something like that. I haven't been able to find... Any specific, uh, any specifics on that, uh, Minecraft Open Computers 2, uh, I wonder if other people are talking about it, uh, now this is, there's a lot of stuff in here about the old version of Open Computers, uh, but because there's just so few people have heard about this, it seems like nobody's actually, uh, nobody's mentioned this, this came out, like, very recently. Um, when did, when did it come out? Like, I think it was a couple of days ago, actually. It showed up on r slash Linux. That's the only reason I know about it. Uh, it came out literally two days ago. Like, the first version was two days ago. Uh, I think. I think that's how that works. Wait, no, it came out last year. Okay, it came out last year, but nobody knows. Okay, it, it's now actually stable. Right. Okay, now I get it. So, it's actually in a stable state as of very recently. Um, either way, either way, it's insane. Um, and hey, if you want to like, if you want to try it out, it's available and you can try it in Minecraft 1.18. Uh, which I presume is the latest version. I don't know. I don't play Minecraft at this point. I just like to check in every so often and just see what absolutely crazy shit is going on in that game. 